Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of budget planning for the month of April. I'm gonna show you my budget planning setup and I'm gonna use these sticker books right here to get me started. So I usually do not pre-plan for budget planning. Um, I know that some of my older books have at least one sheet of budget stickers, which I haven't used. I never budget planned before 2020. It just became a necessity for me because I started my own business and have multiple kind of outlets of income coming in and I just thought it would be better to see it all in one place. And then also just because we made some changes to how we are actually banking and um, you know, it's just, we have a lot of different little things that we need to keep track of at this time. So I thought it was a really good way to utilize a planner that I had and also solve this organizational issue I have with our finances that kind of just began um, late last year, early 2020. To begin, I set up my paydays, which you see there in the corner stickers. Those are days that I get paid from my various outlets of social media and did my shop, my Etsy shop. And then I also want to set up the bills that I have throughout the month. Uh, so I make sure that, you know, our household bills are being paid on time. I have a little cheat sheet that I'm looking at. I'm not just memorizing the dates. Uh, it's off camera, but I just basically made a quick sheet saying when things are due on what days. And I have that available to me as I prep my monthly layout. I found that a monthly layout is pretty much all that I need to do this. Things aren't too complicated where I need like a full sheet to do a, you know, a rundown. Basically just to know what's going in and what's coming out is enough for us. I usually will set up there on the sidebar an overall expenses and income list so that it's super easy for me to see throughout the month like how much exactly we had coming in and how much we had going out so that will be there and i'll just basically transfer those numbers as i enter them into the days that they land in our account or you know come out of our account into that sidebar And I thought I was going to use colorful boxes there um, to kind of denote the paydays, but it just wasn't working out. So I'm just going to use them over here for that sidebar list I told you about where green will be our income and then the red will be our expenses. And I'll just label those and put the numbers below them on the sidebar throughout the month. So one tip that um, I'll share with you guys is that we do pretty much all of our expenses on a credit card and then we pay that off at the end of the month. It, it makes it a little bit weird to talk about expenses because you'll have your bill expenses and even some of our bills are on our credit card. So what I do is I will track those bills on the monthly spread, but I won't count those as expenses because those are on a credit card and the expenses will be what we paid off for the credit card. It's kind of like a 30 day delay as far as anything that's billed throughout the month that we pay on credit. I have to be mindful not to add those guys in. So sometimes what I will do is label where things are coming from on that pay bill sticker somewhere either like right next to it, kind of small, or on top of the sticker so I know which accounts those are coming out of those expenses. And so now I'm setting up our expense sheet and this is going to be for our daily expenses. Basically anything that's going on our credit card um, or multiple credit cards, sometimes we have to use other ones 
uh, because we like to use Discover, but not all places take Discover. In like Costco, we have a special card for that. So we just keep track of all of our different expenses that are like more like day-to-day -day expenses here. And that way we can kind of get an idea of what we're spending throughout the month outside of our bills. And I've found that this sheet's pretty helpful. I can also label each sheet for who's actually spending what, and that seems to work out pretty well. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw in a few lines here for what are, you know, where I'm going to put in the income for those paydays because I wasn't able to use those colorful boxes. Basically, once I get this set up, we will be done, friends. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.